This PGCPS AT video reviews the operational use of the Augmentative and Alternative Communication Application TD Snap. It will be helpful if you have the TD Snap app open during this video. The reason you have been asked to view this video is because you have a student that is using TD Snap. Although your student may have fewer or more symbols on their AAC device, the information in this video will still be helpful. Let's get started. This page is called Core Words or Home Page. TD Snap uses these terms interchangeably, but for the purpose of this video, we will just use Home Page. On this page, you will notice that there are different color backgrounds on some of the symbols. This is not necessary for you to remember, but helpful to know. Words are color coded by word type. Question words are blue, pronouns, yellow, verbs, green, little words, orange, and category folders, pink. Before we get into the vocabulary, let's look at some navigation buttons. First, in the top left-hand corner, you'll see four icons. Starting in the left corner, there is a back button, which will take you back to the previous page. Next, there is a small house. This will take you back to the home page. Next to that, there is an icon that looks like a car gauge. This will take you to a page where you can adjust the volume and perform other non-communication tasks. And finally, the magnifying glass, which allows the adult to search for a word. Staying with navigation for a moment on the home page, you will see an additional toolbar. These buttons are orange with white writing. Starting at the top, there is a back button, which takes you back to the previous page. Core words takes you back to the home page. We will talk more about the core words page in a moment. Quick Fires takes you to a page of quick messages. These are fast and predictable messages that can be used alone or in combination in any environment and they are spoken as soon as they are pressed. Topics takes you to a page with a combination of core and fringe vocabulary. These are words, phrases, and sentences which support interactions in specific environments or around particular themes. Keyboard takes you to a page of letters, numbers, and punctuation. Dashboard takes you to a page of non-vocabulary buttons, such as volume. Across the top of the screen, under the toolbar, are the message functions. To the left, the button labeled Speak will speak the message in the message window. Next to that is the message window. As a user touches words, they will appear in the message window. To the right of the message window is a clear button and a delete button. Clear will erase the entire message while delete will erase just the last word. Now let's talk about the home page. These are high frequency words which can be used in any environment throughout the day. You can see there are pronouns, verbs, descriptors, and prepositions, as well as questions. You will notice at the bottom of each category of word questions, pronouns, verbs, etc., there is a plus symbol. This indicates that there is another page with more related vocabulary. Starting with the blue questions column, touch the plus at the bottom, and you will see a new page with more vocabulary related to questions. Next, the yellow pronouns column, if we touch the plus, we will get a page with more pronoun options. On this page, you will also notice an additional pink category button has appeared on the right that says related lists. In this section, you will find categories of people such as family and school people. Actions or verbs is next. You can see there are many more action words found on this page. Similar to the pronouns, there's also a related list button here too. 
This provides action words organized for specific topics like cooking actions or people actions. Finally, little words, orange. One important note, depending on the size of the display, it may be necessary to scroll down on a page to get more vocabulary. This is accomplished by swiping up on the screen. All the way on the right side of the home page, you will see some pink buttons. These are category folders. The first one, all word lists, contains topic specific fringe vocabulary. Next is personal, which allows you to customize language unique to the user. Under that is description. This contains describing words like up, down, good, bad, more and less. The last pink button is time. This contains language related to time. Days of the week and time of day are found here. Finally, with the bilingual setting in TD Snap, there is a button to quickly switch between English and Spanish. The button is located right over the pink category button on the right side of the home page. Now let's practice making some sentences from the home page. You will need the page called Practice Sentences. We will demonstrate a couple of them for you now, and then you can practice the rest on your own. First one is my turn. Note you will need to scroll down on the page to get to the word turn. My turn. My turn. Next, I want to read a book. I want to read a book. I want to read a book. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. Do you want to drink water? Do, Do you want to drink water? Do you want to drink water? We can also use the topic section to express things quickly. Try a couple sentences this way. Go away. Go away. Can I help? Can I help? 